Ready. Welcome to the Brawly Barrel House. Are you okay? Are you okay? Fine. Had a day, had a day, had a week, mm -hmm. had uh, I guess a year. It's fine. I'm um I'm kind of going through like a grunge phase. Um, is, that, is this what that is? Yeah. I'm going through a gamer phase. I've been listening to a lot of Alice in Chains lately. <laughs> Temple of the Dog. Oh my god. Soundgarden. It's a good one. I found Soundgarden because they did the credit song. The closing credit song of the Avengers movie. Neat. <laughs> Molly, tell, introduce yourself, first of all. Hello. I'm Molly. <laughs> I've been told to introduce myself. Yes, she is. Yes, so, I'm a whiskey newbie, and yeah. I'm very excited to be here. Whiskey. <laughs> we bounced it down our chairs. <laughs> so, what are we doing today? Today? I do believe we are comparing whiskeys. What time is it? What time is it? I don't know. I feel my What time is it? It's whiskey time! Yeah, that's right! Whiskey time! So here's what we're doing today. So I'm, I'm feeling better in the past, over the past uh, two minutes, I've started to feel better. And I'm happy to be here right now with all you people. Hey Molly, this is great. Mm -hmm. And the way we're gonna do this. large wings, I do. Actually, I have really short arms for my height. Yes, but everyone's taller than me. Yeah, my wingspan's five, eight and, and some change and I'm six feet, six feet tall with my Crocs on. That's not true, I'm 5'11". <clears throat> Strong 5'11". 186 pounds, absolute unit. So what we're gonna do, <laughs> thanks for that. I'm gonna put stickers to indicate each of the different types. I'm gonna swap yours, okay. and you're gonna swap mine. You're gonna tell me which one you like best, and I'm gonna see if I can pick which one is which. Oh, yes! Okay, that sounds like fun. Hooray! So let's do, 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 do. That's gonna sound terrible. Okay, actually it's corresponding. Funny enough, the stickers colors are corresponding with the bottle colors. So there's green is rye, red is weeded, and orange is bourbon. How about that? <laughs> so Molly, would you like to tell the people uh, bottle for bottle what we're using yeah. as example whiskeys for each of these? Okay. The bourbon, first of all. So we've got a Bullet Bourbon. Fr Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey. Good, is, standard, stable, yeah. readily available, 45% ABV. Uh, it's, it's good, it's good. It stands up to ice well, it stands up to mixing well. I think okay. it's a really good, just no frills down the middle, bourbon. And now the Weeded Whiskey. Woodford Reserve. That's correct. This is the Kentucky Street Wheat Whiskey. So Woodford uh, had a line where they went through, they had the, a, a predominant mash bill of, of weeded malt, um, rye, and just the standard bourbon. So they're covering all four grains that are traditionally used in whiskeys. Molly, do you remember what uh, constitutes a bourbon mash bill? I didn't do my homework okay. before coming, I'm sorry. It's totally fine, that's why I'm here. So a bourbon, as we know, has yeah. 51, at least 51% Corn recipe. Yes. On the back end, it can be any combination of malt, barley. rye, malt, rye, barley, barley, and, yeah, barley. So a weeded whiskey then would be. So that's going to be fifty percent, fifty-one percent wheat. That's right. And then back end is whatever else. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is a forty-five point two percent ABV. Mm -hmm. The bullet is a forty-five percent, which is really close. And then the, it's a 47% for the rye. So I'll kind of right down the middle, um, proof wise, 90 to 94 proof. This is our rye. This is a really good rye. It's actually a pretty soft rye. Flash Craig. Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and present. Okay. Sure. Bam, bam, white sure. it to the people. Uh, Elijah Craig Straight Rye, 1789. <laughs> that might be important. I don't know. Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. So we've had wheat. We have had. We've had rye, and then we've had, oh, goodness gracious. Yes, bur whiskey, <laughs> barley, no, what is it? Corn! <laughs> okay, 
Okay, okay. You're talking about the, the talking about the base grain. Is yes. that what you're talking about? Yes. Yes. Corn, corn wheat, wheat, and then rye. Really? So uh-huh. rye is at least 51 percent of a rye mash bill. Of a rye mash bill. Now let me say this about that. I think personally that ryes yeah. make for really good cocktails because I think that the spiciness of rye cuts through the sweetness a little better mm-hmm. uh, of mixings. And so I'm a fan of Elijah Craig Rye, Old Forest Rye for making cocktails. So before we start, I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna mix up yours, okay. and then you're gonna mix up mine. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to uh, have us taste them and we'll kind of give notes. So you, uh, you walk away and I'll mix it up. So you're gonna mix this up? Yes, okay. walk away. So here we are, back at it again. We've mixed up our glasses. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna taste it. We're gonna taste it. We'll go one through three, and we'll just go in the same order if you want to. That's, that's I'll good. tell you what I'm getting. You tell me what you're getting. Okay. I probably won't give as many notes because I want you to not be. I don't want you to have any psychosomatic suggestions. Okay. So you're. Power of suggestion. Yeah, because you'll taste what I'm tasting if I tell you that I'm tasting it. But okay. these are totally different. They could be the same, but they're probably not. Let's go number one. So smell it. Smell it. Oh. Mm, what you got? That's okay. What I have is sweet. Mmm. Okay. This one's definitely sweet. Okay. From the smell. There's a hint of spice to it though. Mm-hmm. What is this technique? We're sipping it like we sip hot coffee, right? Yeah, the first sip is gonna your palate's gonna have to acclimate. So take a little sip. And then just sip it. The second one, you can let it roll around your tongue a little bit. You can let it kind of coat the palate and get a little bit more. The first one is usually just kind of getting over the shock. A little bird sip. Oh, that's spicy. I love that. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, it's a little bit of smokiness to it, but it's very caramely smokiness. Oh, caramel. That's a common, that's a common thread for one of these. I gotta go in again. Okay. Going in again. Little second sip. Hold that. I was gonna say there might be a hint of nuttiness, but no, I don't think so. Mm. There's a richness to it. Rich, voluptuous. It's like it's, it's a nice spicy, homey, like brown sort of flavor. Brown, like like a brown sugar allspice. Uh, there's a hint of brown sugar in there. Yes. Mm. I've got a nice. It's it's not stinging, but it's a really nice warm feeling right mm, here. What's that called? Oh dang! I was thinking of this earlier. What is that called? It's a it's it's a state, and it's an embrace. It was the Kentucky hug? That's right. It's the Kentucky yeah. hug. Okay. It's very not good. it's not a, it's not a tight hug. Is it one of those ones where like you go in for the hug, but it's not like a I haven't seen you in a while, but it does have a little bit of the. I I was. I I was thinking it's one that you start out like, oh, it's just gonna be a normal hug, and then it turns into like a really meaningful one, but um, okay. You know what I know is gonna happen? I'm gonna watch this footage back, and I'm gonna be like, what is that shirt? What is that hat? What am I doing? So, go to number two, go to number two. We're gonna go back and forth, and we're gonna see, see what we're gonna Okay. Because the, as we know, the order in which you taste whiskey drastically affects your experience with that whiskey. Is there a discernible color difference to you? There is a discernible color difference, but also, this one has more legs. More legs. More, is it is it legs or feet? It's legs. Okay. <laughs> I mean, do legs denote thickness? What is, what is that? It's more viscous. Viscous? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a lot less sweet. This is a little sharper. Dang, it smells very green. This one has a distinct would you say, smell to it. Would you say vegetal? It's almost like... Like hay or cut grass? Or... I was going to say cut grass. That was the first thing that popped in my head. Woo! <laughs> Perhaps not your preference, is that to say? It's not that. It's, it's very interesting. I definitely... I don't think I like this one as much as I like the first one. Okay. It goes in with the bang and then goes out with a whimper. Sparkles and dances all over your tongue and then it kind of falls off the cliff. Yeah, just boom and then nothing. Mm-hmm. So this one had like an aftertaste that stuck around and I was like, you know what? I would drink this just to taste the aftertaste kind of thing. Mm-hmm. This one is just like, I'm hit with it and now it's gone. 
it's like one of, <laughs> it's like one of those little they're not quite sparklers but they're little bags of gunpowder that you throw on the ground yeah. on the fourth of july it's just kind of like Foom! it's like a tnt popper yeah like hey that was fun for a second yeah no it's, right. i have no after what a, descri what a great description i've never thought of a whiskey that kind of goes away as a tnt popper but i like that i'm gonna use that so no. that's how that one feels. This is a, it's either a sparkler or one of those really awesome ones that you see the initial lighting up mm -hmm. and then there's a second wave of it afterwards mm -hmm. that are usually white and gold. So you see the first one is, oh, it's an explosion of fireworks, it's an explosion of light, and then they have the little gold. Mm -hmm. and, ah, ah, okay. Yes. Oh, nice. That's how that one felt. Nice. This is a little teeny popper. And this one. Okay, so this is kind of like on the same syrupy level as the first one. Okay. It's the same color. Viscous. This one is the lightest. Can I like make a wager? Yeah, make a wager. I think this one's corn. That's all I know. So I have to... I can't get this. Oh, whoa, oh, okay. It doesn't smell like to you. You know what this smells? This smells exactly like Bananas Foster. Oh. Oh. Because it's got that same sweet brown of this, but less spice to it. Oh, interesting. So it's it's kind of like a nice slope of a smell. It's just like, ooh. It's like round. Yes, it's a very round, round smell. smell. Round brown smell. Yeah. <laughs> the quick brown fox jump the roof. Slow red dog. It's a, it's a very strong smell. It's not gentle, but it isn't sharp. Yeah, it's just like coming over a nice crest of a hill. But it smells exactly like Bananas Foster. I cannot get that out of my head. Mm. Okay. Woo! Oh, wait. You like that? Yeah! So like you like that. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. This is This one's more like a sparkler than that one. Kind of lingers. It does. So what what you've got here, what we've got here is when you're tasting a whiskey, you got the initial hit, the initial hit of flavor. Mm -hmm. You've got the mid palate, and then you've got the 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 kind of the back of the palate and the finish. Sometimes you can have stuff that kind of like sparkles and dances in the front of your tongue, gives you a little cinnamon pop. I think Elijah Craig standard does that, and then it finishes. It kind of just like it doesn't get flat, but it just kind of evens out. That's what this one's doing. Yeah. Sometimes you'll get something like I think, um, like a, a Russell's Reserve, it hits smooth, and then in the back, in the back of the tongue, it's a little more of like the, the spicy, interesting bits. Different whiskeys hit your palate differently. That's what I think is cool about it. I do like that one a lot, but this one I think my favorite. Okay, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna cut here, and then we're gonna go back. We're gonna t taste test all of them. We're gonna come back with our results at the end of this. <laughs> I'll tell you my, my guess. Okay. Based upon the description that you had for each of those, mm -hmm. I think we have the same order. I was good at, I was wondering. Yeah. Rye. Okay. Wheat. Corn. Rye, wheat, corn. That's your guess? That's what I think. That is not what I think I have. So we're guessing. You're guessing rye, wheat, corn. Rye, rye, corn, wheat, and the sort of rye, corn. Yeah. Okay. That's what I think. Which one did you prefer? I prefer the rye. No kidding. So you if, prefer the if this is the rye, this is the one that I prefer okay. over all three. Whatever this one is, that's my favorite. Okay. What's your number two? This one. Okay. So it's like it's a real close second. Let's reveal your number two. And your number two preference is wheat. So you're, you're wheat. Oh my God, you're right. wheat. We, we've done it. <laughs> High five. Woo. No, no. Oh, oh. Oh, how many did we go with? Okay, great. We've got two more. You're probably rolling those up. So, <laughs> so let's let's do number one. Let's see what your number one was. I'm nervous now. One was, I'll be really interested to see. It was rye. Oh! Yeah, any high fives you want. There you go. I was right! Okay, you were right. So that is not the order that I your description threw me off. That is not so, the order. This one is corn. There was a pretty even relationship between spice and sweet in the rye, and there was a little bit more spice initially in the wheat. And it and this the taste of this lasted longer okay. than this one did. And you see the bourbon just kind of fell off a cliff. 
The, the corn? Yeah. Yeah. Fell off the it was it was like drinking like corn corn alcohol water and then just, mm. My preference are probably a tie between these two, maybe slightly on this side, and then this one's last. So I think that this is this is the weeded. Okay. This is the rye, and this is the bourbon. So you tell me. I'm like 100% sure this is the rye. But... Okay, well then I want to see what this one is. Okay. 100% sure if it's it's green. It's the rye. It's a yeah. All right. Interesting. Expert, expert whiskey guy. All right. So the second one is pink. Weeded. So I was right. You were right? Okay, I cool. was correct. And this is the bourbon. Well, that was fun. Thank you for joining me for that adventure. Thank so you now for you having know, me. Now you know you like ryes. I do. At I least that. A rye and a wheat. Elijah Craig is a pretty soft rye, in my opinion. Thank you for joining us for this episode. That was fun. Did you have fun? Yes, I had a good time. Thank okay, you. good. We've discovered things. We've explored whiskeys. We've developed friendships. We have created... Yet another video that I must edit. <laughs> it's alright. No, no, no. Signing off. Sign off for us. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Bye.